Hello YouTube, I'm Brave Dave. This is the World of Tanks test server. Um, I'm going to take a look at the new tanks and give you the previews of them. Um, now I would like to point out right now, this is a preview, not a review, because for one it's only the first version of the test server, so the stats you're going to see are most likely not set in stone, and they most likely will be changed before it goes live. So just keep that in mind, and um, let's begin. So I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the new Japanese premium tank. Type 3 Chinukai. Um, right away we see it's kind of a tall tank, really. Hold on. Eh, not, eh, maybe not. Looks... Uh, has 480 hit points on it. Um, so it gets 20 more than the Sherman and the Panzer IV. So that's at least helpful. Because, uh... As, from what I've seen, um... In the one or two games I played in it before, uh, it doesn't really have armor. No, no, it doesn't. And like, it doesn't really have any sloping either, unless you shoot right there and it bounces. But even at that, eh, it might bounce into that. Um, I'm just. Plus, you have weak spots right there and there, so. And the giant cupola. Plus this lower glacis here. Uh, don't expect to bounce anything in this tank. Then again, it's a tier four. Uh, sorry, tier five. So that's to be expected. It has 50 on the front, 25 on the side, 20 on the rear, and 75 on the front, 50 on the side, and 50 on the back for the turret. Um, can I quickly compare it to the other two uh, that I have here? being the Panzer IV and the Sherman, which I think might be its main, what might be more similar to, really. So right away, we already know it has more hit points by very little. Uh, the engine power is a lot less, even though it's not that much lighter than the other two. Speed limit, uh, 38.8 compared to 48 for the other two. Traverse speed of 38 compared to the, the uh, 32 on the Panzer IV and 37 on the Sherman. But the engine power might kind of mess it up there. Um, it has one less armor on the front than the Sherman, but the Sherman obviously is sloped. And the Sherman is 38 on the side and rear where the uh, Chinukai is 25 and 20. Uh, it has more turret armor than the Sherman at 75 compared to 63. That's on the top turret, by the way. Because um, the other one, if I recall, has more armor on it, actually. Uh, it has 50 on the side and rear compared to 63 on the side and rear for the Sherman. And the whole armor uh, does just doesn't even compare to the Panzer IV. It has more turret armor than the Panzer IV, though. Um, view range is pretty much the same, except for the American having a bit more. Signal range is bad. Okay, let's be honest, that's not the great greatest there. So let's take a look at the gun. Gets 75 millimeter. Um, that's interesting. Let's compare it to the 76 of the Sherman and 75 of the Panzer IV. So right away it has the slowest rate of fire of 12 compared to 14.29 and 15. Um, it's second for average penetration with 124. It has the highest damage with 125 compared to 115 and 110. It has the best accuracy compared to the two, and they all have the same aiming time, 
whereas this gun's slightly lighter than the other two. So that's that. Now, I think how I'm going to do this is... I'm going to play one or two games without any modules on. And then I will play one or two games with modules on. And I won't cut out any parts. It's going to be only four games. I'm going to post those four games. Because, to be honest, um, if I only post up good games, uh, you won't know how... To, like, you won't uh, see how the tank performs. Though this is kind of a uh, interesting matchup. Huh. I wonder where to go. Oh, and as you might notice, uh, they added a shot, like, counter now. Guess I could go hill. It's not the fastest tank, as you might have noticed. It has a rate of fire of 6.20 on a 50% crew with no modules. Not the best gun depression either. alone over there, but I don't want to leave these guys alone with that either. Alright, so on this guy. Takes quite a while to aim in with this. Or it could just be my impression. I might just be used to higher tiers, I don't know. We got that problem solved. Now get to the other flank, help him. God, this tank is so sluggish. over there. No 
Schaden an keep the bank. There we go. Ah, maybe. That tank over there is actually quite scary. Uh, it gets a 128 on it. Uh, but only 15 rounds. But it still does quite a bit of damage. As you see. All that. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Um, not a bad game. Not a bad game at all. Uh, I hope you're not going to mind the fact that uh, after one game without modules, I'm going to be putting modules on it. Okay, let's see. Definitely put a gun lane drive on it, because that's, uh, I think vents. Let's see how this does. Into battle we go. Oh boy. This. Um. I think the Type 64 is pretty much just a Hellcat, by the way, in case you were wondering. It looks like just a stock Hellcat which is um, dubbed a light tank and painted a lighter green. So, yeah. Which brings up a, an odd event I saw uh, earlier today when I was on. Usually you see like Russians team killing Americans, but for some reason I got into a, um, a tier 5 game in my uh, Chinukai. All Chinukais and one Excelsior on our team, and our Russian Excelsior actually started team killing other Russians, which was odd. I have honestly never seen that before. And I'm actually surprised because I haven't. That's the only case of like team killing I've actually seen so far, which is good, in my opinion. Hopefully it stays that way. That would be nice. Yeah, I kind of screwed that shot up. We had a bit too long there. A lot of tanks here. Try that again. Please tell me he does. I think he's going to. Ooh, type 64 maybe? Yep. Uh, that's 
Oh god, no. No. No! Yes, block him, block him. Oh god, no. I sat, I, I, I sat there a bit too long there. That was bad. They're gonna keep giving us side shots and gonna take them. Please do it again. Please. Please. Come on. You know you want to. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. Yeah, he's aiming at me. Quite a bit of damage, that's all that matters. Oh, we're gonna win this one pretty easily, it seems. Hopefully I did a bit more damage this time. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, Panzer SFL V scaring the shit out of me. Oh boy. What's it doing down there? Oh, E25 platoon or patrol going after it. Yes, it's a platoon. Should be interesting. Not a bad game. Top of the team for uh, experience. Pretty high up for damage. Not bad. Moving on to the next game. This is going to be the last game for this tank. So, um, I have to get around to actually doing the German tanks I read instead of just you know a premium tank. So yeah. Uh probably could have gotten a better last game, but uh let's see what we can do. The vents and the uh gun lane drive definitely cut down on the reload time too. You can actually um do quite a bit of damage to the enemy team now, it would seem. The aiming time's not so bad either. Let's see where the team goes and uh, react accordingly. Uh, okay then. That's reassuring. Hopefully nobody goes this way. Or this is gonna be a very, very bad day. But I do have the uh, tank destroyer from hell with me, so that's reassuring. Ooh, they're going up the middle road. I wonder if they're actually pushing this side or not. As I just get one shot. Yep, here they come. And a bounce. I'll take the track, no damage. Let's 
fix that before he can actually damage me. Oh, fuck my life. I can. But I'm dead now. Oh god, please bounce. Yeah, that's not a bounce. Well then. We've cleared the viewports. That went well. I, I think that went really well. Um I think we uh we really got down the exploding part um, of that. Um, we we exploded very gloriously, uh, to be honest. Um, the Japanese military will be proud of us, I think. Um, we did like maybe one or two damaging hits uh, in that engagement as well. Uh, so yeah, that's good. That's good. It's better than no damage. Uh, yeah. I feel we can be satisfied with that disappointing, uh, very disappointing turn of events. So, yeah. Let's just see how this game plays out and if we, uh, we're gonna win or not. Yeah, so, honestly, I think the Type 64 is probably just a Hellcat. It looks like a stock Hellcat, really. Except the front is a bit different. On the hall, that is. It looks like just pretty much a modified Chinese version of the Hellcat. I'm hoping they can shoot the base camera, because I mean... It'd be kind of bad to lose to Cap right now. We have a comet going to base, but he's about to get one shot. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, there goes I don't think he's going to be able to pull that off. Oh, wow, he did. Or the E25. Let's see how well these guys do. Oh, eh, they tracked him at least. Oh, KV-1 got it. Well played, well played. So that's the, uh, the Chinookai. It's good to, you know, start on a good note and end on a bad note, in my opinion. I mean, why not? So yeah, um... I'm gonna be doing the Tier 5 texture next, which I can't remember the name of. Hold on. Uh... Panzer SFL 4C. So uh, that's something to look forward to. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.